Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. Episode 101. No, 102. 102 episodes in and Rafal is still kicking. He is still going strong. At God knows how old now, 40 what? I can't remember how we check. How do we get on there again? It has to be a way. There it is. 45. 40 bloody 5. We've seen half of the kingdom die of old age already. The other half died to um, uh, the things. Definitely not involving myself. We had nothing to do with that. I'm not saying anything. Um, yeah, so anyway. Still kicking. I have no idea how. But I'm not complaining. Uh, so in the last episode, it was kind of a standstill. We didn't really gain much ground. We uh, Or did we? No, we didn't. It was just defending, mostly. Um, Valandia obviously has taken Ortizia, but we should be able to take it back pretty easily. Uh, no, actually, I think we took Rote, Rote City, back from Sturgia, but like that was originally ours, so we haven't really gained any ground yet. Um, so what we're going to try and do, it's only got 128 defenders. It's just me. I don't have an army with me anymore, um, and because of that, I don't really fancy losing too many men. So... Oh, I'm going to lose men either way. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter actually. I'm just going to go for it. Um, I believe he's actually quite an important target. or well, his clan owns the town. But we're only minus 12 for them. They're a clan that we want to join us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the town. Hopefully take it. And then we're going to go and engage him. Hopefully capture him. Let him go. Build some relations up. And um, we're going to try and force a, another clan to join us. Hopefully it will be their one. But obviously once we take this place they may like us a little bit less. Um, other than that, uh, we took Kiaz, but then again, that was also us. so I'm, st I'm starting to remember places that we've captured, there was a lot that happened in the last episode, quite a lot, um, but yeah, that's where we're at at the moment, and we're going to jump into it, we're going to lead this assault, we've got our battering ram, we've got no siege engines, and the enemy does have catapults, but if we just play it carefully, play it slow, push the battering ram up, wow, I'm zoomed out, Jesus, beautiful settlement though, I'm really zoomed out, Jesus. Uh, so battering ram's going to come down here. They're going to get lit up by the archers on either side. Did we? Def no, we haven't defended Ortizia. Oh yes, no. Now I remember taking this place was a bastard. Because they just light you up from all sides. Here it is, literally is the kill zone. Both the ladders right next to the main gate. So yeah, we're just going to let the battering ram go in. Break the door down. Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. I think archers... I remember we tried to stash our archers here, but they got killed. And then I think we moved them into the middle, and again, they just got killed. So we'll probably what I'll do is hold them back here. Maybe stash them on this hill. Give them a bit of distance. They might be able to fire on this wall. Maybe the far wall, but I don't think we're going to be able to do a whole lot. So, yeah, if we just bring everyone back... We don't have a whole lot of infantry. We're going to keep the units back as much as possible. And then everyone else. Or well, the two archer units are going to follow me briefly. I mean, most of my archers are pretty high quality. So I don't really want to lose too many of them. But at the same time, it also doesn't matter. Because we can just recruit them again. But I'm hoping... Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, they took out Veronet. I think she was our best archer. Loose. And then mounted archers. Go a little bit further back. What I should try and do is I should make a, um, a formation that has just crossbowmen. And then a formation that's archers. And then I could stash the crossbowmen a little bit further back. Because obviously they'd have the range. Make sure you guys are loose. A lot of our guys probably won't fire. I don't think we'll hit much, but if we keep them here, and they're still getting lit up. And they're getting killed. That was a freaking ballista bolt, that. There he is. He's up there, the bastard. Jesus. Alright, boys. Yep. We're not hitting anything. Battery rounds being lit up by that. Pull back. I don't want to lose any men, and we're not hitting our targets. Let's just pull back. Stay well out of range. 
Let's see if the battering ram actually makes it to the gate first. Hopefully the only men we lose are these men pushing it. And it has lost protection. It is down. It is down. Right, full retreat. Full retreat. That's unfortunate. Um, so we might need some siege equipment. Continue siege preparation. So what I'm thinking... Ah, I can build fire catapults and ballistas now. I just want to see how long that takes to build. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. But they're going to Lagata. If they change direction, then... Oh, it's taking too long. Hide it. Okay. I'm going to have to form an army. But we need to retake Ortizia. And we could defend Ortizia against them. That could be a better plan. Although we do have an army. And they're about to engage me. So if I lose this here. If I don't capture it on this run. I'm screwed. Actually I'm screwed either way. I can't run away. I'd have to engage a ridiculous amount of men. Well, we have one catapult. It's not the end of the world. But I don't think our siege ram will make it to the gates. It's the only issue. Uh, yeah, we don't have a choice. I've clicked it anyway. Literally don't have a choice. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to take it. We don't have a choice. If we lose this, we're done. Let's pray that the battering ram makes it to the gates. I'm thinking we might have to give the uh, catapults another target which might mean sacrificing a huge chunk of archers but it needs to make it to the gate because otherwise we do not win this oh that's frustrating okay I do not know what you guys are doing I don't like it you're way too tightly packed that is not on you split up now Not a fan of that, right? Archers! They're targeting my catapult, the pricks. Although, actually, they are targeting my archers. Right. Please take up some sensible positions. Please hit. I mean, that looked awesome, but it didn't hit anything. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. How many of my men did they just kill with that? Why are you all bunched up together? What the hell is this? Oh, crap. Yeah, okay. 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 You know that thing I said about needing to win this? Because otherwise we're all dead. Let's um, move. Stop. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Spread out. Jesus Christ. Look how many men I've just lost. Half my bloody party gone just for the catapults alone. But I don't know, they're still hitting the battering ram. And the battering ram's down, and I've just lost all those men for nothing. Oh god. I'm screwed. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, I am so screwed. I have 78 men wounded. How long were we in that battle for? 78 men wounded. And I can't run. I could maybe send troops. But then without a full party, I'm never going to be able to defend it. Oh, I don't know what to do. Well, best bet's probably to send troops because I think either way, I'm going down. Especially now that I've lost uh, nearly 100 men. And I'm going to be up against nearly a thousand. Send troops it is. Oh, come on. Really? I lost four. Every single time I have sent troops in this playthrough, I have lost a ridiculous amount of men. The one time... Uh, well, I didn't lose any men in the last attack. They just got wounded. So I'm happy with that. 
it's brilliant. I'm not going to complain because that's exactly the result we wanted. So that's fantastic. It's just annoying. A little bit. Why does send troops do that sometimes and not? Are you not? It's done. I'm not going to question it. It's done. It's over. Show mercy as it's ours. Uh, no garrison, but going up by one day. Loyalty is going down by one. Security is going up. And garrison uh, militia is going to be going up by three. So we're going to stay here. Try and defend it. Uh, I might be over my party limit. I don't know what they're all doing there. No, I'm not. But I should probably drop off some men. Mercenary crossbowmen. Yes. Uh, do we have any militia? I don't like having militia. Militia veteran. Militia veteran. Sorry. Uh, don't mind armed traders. They're not bad. There's nothing wrong with militia. Archers. Oh, that's actually quite a lot. Um, that's a lot actually I'm going to leave it there because now I can recruit some more men that gives it a 59 garrison Jesus. and then I can get some arm traders and hopefully a small chunk of recruits and then we just wait out they're going to back off anyway that's even better how many men has he got? 439 Good. Owner of Ortizia, yep, we'll give it to whoever. Ovagos. Not seen your name come up much. You can have it. Okay, awesome. Oh yeah, of course. No, I forgot. That's another major thing that happened in the last episode. We made peace with Sturgia. Of course we bloody did. I forgot about that. So we are now only at war with um, Vlandia. So in the we lost the castle. So we lost Atakonia just there um, but that is all we've lost and they were going to take Dinar Castle as well I don't know if we originally had Epinosa and they took it or if they've always had that I can't remember um, yep Sonala revolted so we lost that too uh, which we will eventually take back but ortizia has got a decent sized garrison-ish a lot of wounded men I can keep boosting up my forces I've got a lot of space, so yeah, hopefully I can pick up quite a lot of men. And then we'll reform our army soon, with all of our friends having rebuilt their party sizes. Got all their men back together. Lovely. Some equites in there. The army went left, so I think I'm going to try and besiege Thraxeray Castle next. Um, I'm not going to bother going to Sanala. I'm going to leave that place. I'm just going to head to Ortizia one more time. Probably won't have refreshed anything, but just want to check. They're coming here as well. There's a few extra men, more or less at the max, so we'll just take them. And that's good. Right, so I'm going to start heading to Thraktoray, build up some forces, and I'm going to call all of these boys to me. You and you. And that's it. I can't get Alda. I really wanted Alda, but I can't get her. So yeah, that gives me a decent chunk of men there. Should I included? Let's just make sure I have clans at full capacity. Parties at full capacity. No, so Alda's been taken down. That's what's happened. I'm not sure when that happened. Um, everyone should be recruiting too. I did change it. Apparently I didn't. I could have sworn I did. Unless it's going off. No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just those top ones. So everywhere else is... Should be, anyway. They've got unlimited wages. I don't know what the rate of recruitment's like at all. It's going to use Dinar Castle as a... Base. Jeez, they hit that castle hard. That was at 270. But its wages are quite high, so I'm assuming the men are good. Right, anyway, Thraktory Castle, on we go. We formed our army, we should be getting our reinforcements fairly soon. They're going to Ortizia, so if I jump to the defence of Ortizia, will they still? Will the Sanders escape from party? Okay. Um, donate troops to... Donate prisoners, I don't know if I have any. Ella Duran. I gain influence from that, really. 
Ah, oh, what? I can't take him back. Ah, oh, damn it. That was a good prisoner. <laughs> Shit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, cool. Oh, and that actually increases our clan relation, too. Okay, interesting. Oh, that probably means that means he can sell it. Sell him it. <laughs> My bad. That makes sense. Um, and there is a clan I need to boost our relationship with, actually. It's probably quite important I do do that. Although, I can't. I think it was Phileos. So, does he actually own any da, 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 kingdoms? King of Scallion. The Benizilal have been wiped out, have they? No. It's just black. Um, Mestores. Miron. 30. I don't know if they own a town. Possibly. Vallejos. 47. Okay, that's gone up then. All seems to be fine, actually. Okay. That's weird. And then there's my clan, which is freaking massive. I can't remember which one of these is actually my children. Four. He's only four. That's also no guns. Oh, wait. Has my brother not had a... My brother's not had a child. Is that because my brother's wife died? I think it might be. No, he's with Zuad. He doesn't have a child. I thought he did. Where the hell is my wife? Vostrum. She doesn't like me that much. Um. Okay, so where's Varric and Zuad? I just want to sort that out quick. Not that it matters that much, but I didn't realise they didn't have children, right? She's a Trican. Varric is an Odoc. Let's just put them together. Odoc's prosperity is majorly good. I don't know where I just said she was. Oh, she actually isn't anywhere. Zuad, just go there quick. And then let's do that. And let's go back into the menu. Faith. And then just change around. Do we need to change them around? It's actually going up more, isn't it? I think it might be. Hold on. She might be better for the town than he was. Uh, yeah, massively so. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That's the wrong place. Just move there. Zuad. Yeah, you go there. That's better. Cool. Right, moving on. Should be getting our reinforcements soon. There's two of them now. No new troops to recruit, that's fine. Right, heading to Thraxray Castle. So, Vlandia owns no territory south of us. It's all to the west and to the north. So, we'll just slowly push them back into Batania first. They're going to Veron Castle. So, Jakulos, Jakulos is going to besiege Veron. We're going to besiege Thraxray. Hopefully, we can capture them both. And that secures our western border. Protects both Lagata and Ortizia with castles. And then I'll probably try and take the south, Usank and Charas. See if we can get some successes there. Right, let's just have a quick check at this clan. Minus 11. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, they're gonna, we're going to lose a little bit of relationship with them once we besiege it, which does kind of suck. But we need to do it. Down to minus 16. Not the worst. It's hard to get new clans to join you because, one, you have to get them when they're alone. And, um, I mean, you need to besiege castles. You just have to. And if I don't do it, it's going to take forever. Don't know why I just checked. That's fine. Yep, get more reinforcements coming in. So we've built our siege camp. Let's get the battering ram up. We should probably build a couple of um, flame monikers because they are quite useful in the actual map itself. Now, the army has come to defend, but they're not going to do a whole lot here. That's who we want. Sorry, I forgot to move that. I don't think they hit it. it didn't come up down here, so I don't think they hit it. Right, we've got more reinforcements on their way. 
they're running. Got loads of route. Look at that. We've got a whole train of people coming in now. Sude doesn't have a horse. I don't know if I did that on purpose. I can't remember. We've got a second army incoming, but luckily we now have enough men that it doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to get this last catapult up, and that will be it. We're going to go straight into the assault with that. We've got everybody we need. Everyone is here together. Influence is... Oh, it's a bit dodgy. But we're making more than it's costing us per day to keep the army. So that's fine. As long as we don't go over that budget. Yep, so we have a few catapults. This place is quite nice because we can usually stash our archers up this side. They don't take too much catapult fire, and they can pick off the enemy here. And it's a downgraded tower, so they should be able to hit the archers on that with ease. Or at least relative ease. Um, so we'll put all infantry down the back. Make sure they're spread out so they're not going to get absolutely blasted. Do have a lot of formations. There we go. Right, and then archers over to this side. Just do it nice and quick, as quick as we can, so we can get started on this siege. Start pushing back Vlandia. There we go. Right, begin the assault. Catapult there, catapult on the main gate. I don't think there's a catapult over there or on that tower. Um, there is a catapult on the far tower there. I don't know where the fourth one is concerns me. Unless it's on that tower where I'm looking now. Where the tree is, but I don't know. Um, right, you're firing pretty nicely. I'm going to move one unit forward so they've got a better angle and so we're a little bit further away from that catapult which yeah, only got one man. So it's not too bad. Right. One unit provides supporting fire. I didn't actually look at the numbers of the enemy forces. I don't know how many they have. Let's uh, just quick check. 194. Generally, not that bad. It's quite manageable. Okay, we're quite grouped up there. That's got to be unit 2, hasn't it? Or just 2 and 4 together. Right, let's move you guys there. And let's move you guys here. And we're hitting our targets quite nicely now. Especially now that we've moved closer. And because they've got the shorter walls, it's a little bit less well less defended. So they're not doing too great. Our catapults are not hitting their targets either. They're shooting way over. See if I can get up this. We'll just have to keep an ear open for the um, battering ram. Just want to check that. Uh, got one man. It's not. I can live with that for the moment. If it does start to hit more targets, then I'll move them again. I'm fairly confident with them. Ouch. Let's see if I can get a few kills here. We do seem to be, our archers do seem to be picking these guys off too. Especially now they're kind of climbing against me at the wall here. Don't know where that's coming from. It's definitely coming from the left, isn't it? Well, I have two crossbow bolts on my back, so that could. I don't know if my men can hit me, but that's a good indication. No, it came from the side, didn't it? Because I was like this. Oh, God, every time I put it away and they hit me again. Bastard. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, okay, that's me done. I'm going back down. Half health. Don't particularly want to lose any more than that. But we are picking them off quite nicely. My horse is there. Yep, we killed a decent chunk of them. We've hurt them. Let's go check on the battering ram, make sure that that's in position. I'm not sure which unit that is there at the back. Possibly unit 6. Yeah, unit 6. Let's have a brief look. Let's start battering. Oh, that's at the main gate. Right, let's start moving the infantry up. Infantry, follow me. Cavalry, follow me. Follow me. 
So the battering ram is nearly dead, so I actually got quite lucky on that. Get out of here. Break the gate. Break the gate. Break the gate. Try and protect them if we can. I swear they've made these positions higher up. Keep breaking that gate, boys. Reinforcements will hopefully be here soon. Oh wow, they hit right in the centre of my infantry. Alright, the boys are actually about to break the gate. And there's only five of them. That is not good. Boys, get back. Reinforcements are here, hold. Just a few seconds longer. Jesus Christ, that hurt. Wow. I don't know how that didn't kill me. That bloody hurt. All forces charge. Hopefully the archers will start to climb the wall on the other side. Oh, crap, 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 crap. It's fine. Got him. Can't bloody see him. My helmet's in the way. There we go, there we go, we're getting through it. Let's go through, hopefully our archers are making good good effort on the other side. Yeah, absolutely slaughtering them now. That guy's got one long sword, Jesus. Alright, the catapult is still firing. Shouldn't have any targets, but we might be getting reinforcements in, so I'm going to go deal with that. Also, don't want to be outnumbered here, so let's just. Yeah, you load that. Beautiful. That guy's holding a rock. No, thank you. It's a shield, come on. There we go. Beautiful. Right, lovely, that's that catapult down. We've got one more down at that tower. Not that tower. Go on, hit it and you'll make my bloody day. Getting a lot more reinforcements coming in, scattered positions. Don't know if our archers did climb that wall, by the looks of it they did, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, yeah, the castle is now secured. There we go. The victory horn was sounded. Beautiful. Beautiful effort, boys. Beautiful effort. We had a lot of men coming in from that side, Jesus. 54 men dead. Not great. Quite a lot of men. Only three out my own, which I'm happy with. Arm trader, militia, militia. That's what we want. We want the low quality going. Um, so we just got to take down the men in the keep. There's 13 of them. Should only take a few seconds. Cannot see a thing. Damn it. Can't see. Can't see. Should have just charged with my men. Let's get in there before it's too late and it's already over. I'm coming, Veronet. I'm coming. You don't need me. Oh, last second shot. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. No. Bollocks. I've got overconfident. I've got way too overconfident there. 
Good stuff. Handful left. Come on, boys. Tear them up. I like that it brings mostly lords and companions into this because you get to see some very different armor styles and weapon weaponry. I think mo most of them are my companions, but there are some lords in there, lords and ladies. Lovely stuff. That's the lot. Lots and lots of prisoners. I only got one upgrade from that, and we'll make it an archer. Although I think I have more infantry, so I probably shouldn't have done that. I do like my archers, though. Right, lovely. Thraktoria is now ours. We're going to bugger off immediately. If we can take this guy down, that's what I want to do. They are actually going to engage us, so that's even more interesting. Oi, that's a lot of men. They outnumber us on the lords. They outnumber, they outnumber us on the battlefield too, but the balance of power is in our favour, which means we have the better quality men. Awesome. Let's engage him there. Lovely stuff. Uh, we are, wow, numbers are low. 1799476. Two hundred. Low on their cavalry though. Nice open field. Let's move forward to this hill. Right, nobody take up positions. Let's get moving. Remember that they attacked us us. So we have the defensive advantage. Cavalry move to the trees. Horse archers, let's keep you let's put you down there so you're behind the uh, main force infantry pull back a little bit but get there quickly because the enemy is advancing fast archers I need you on this hill now and I need you firing go 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 infantry dismount right now that we're all together let's push the infantry forward a little bit more and form a shield wall enemy's going to bunch up together should give us a small advantage. Let's move our horse bowmen over there. I'm picking up our men already, so let's get that shield wall up. Archers on the right hand side aren't really firing yet because we're out of range. But they will soon. Once the enemy wraps around our forces as well, we should start either picking off our men from the sides. Cavalry, let's get you to charge over there into the enemy cav and also into the flanks. We are firing. We should be lighting up their archers. Should be slaughtering them. Obviously sending in some cavalry now to engage the enemy cavalry. Charge. Hopefully we'll spin around and attack their archers too. We're losing a few of our men on the flanks there. But we're picking them off quite nicely. I don't want to see the um, cavalry charging into the infantry yet the one thing we want to avoid if we can. So let's bring him back, bring him back here as we're only engaging cavalry. Let's bring him back before they do that. Oh, we might lose a couple. Might lose a couple. We've had a formation change which potentially means reinforcements. I think we've had a few. Not too bad. Most of the men are still firing so I don't need to rectify that. We have slaughtered a lot of their archers though. But you can see the reinforcements coming in in the rear. They're about to get a few more. Quite a few more. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. Absolutely lighting them up. The only men that we're really losing are our recruits and looters. Like that there. They're just hitting the ones without armour or shields on the sides. But the shield wall is holding nice and firm. But so is the enemies. But luckily, they put their archers in the front, whereas we put ours in the rear. So we are hitting their ranged. Right, let's change up our formation. Have a quick shift about. I was going to move the infantry, but now I decide that's probably not a good idea. Cavalry, let's get you into a charge. If the enemy holds, they might pull back though. 
Crossbowmen do run out of ammo quick, don't they? Alright, you need to die. That's it. Sorry, boys. Block my own men. What a good leader I am. Infantry charge as the enemy's gone round you. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I need to be more careful. I'm low. Archers are holding. We do have a lot more crossbowmen now, so our archers, our range is actually becoming more of an infantry force. As soon as the ammo's gone, they've got their swords and shields out. So we're actually getting, our army is becoming a lot stronger. Should have gone for crossbowmen in the start, but I do like my archers. And they do carry more ammunition. Right, the men are doing good. Right, let's bring the cavalry back first. And then the infantry back here, if we can. Get them into a line formation. I'll just keep firing. Yeah, keep going, boys. Keep going. Hopefully we're not going to lose too much cavalry. Nice. Love watching them get shot off their horses. It's a beautiful sight. Right, most of our infantry should be back. So, infantry should walk. Make sure you're protected. We did lose a few cavalry there. But our numbers are still doing okay. It's the ones that are really far at the back that are just coming through now. I mean, look at him. He must have been miles away. Yep, keep holding, boys. Keep holding. Majority of our range they're firing. Enemy is mostly archers now. So we could probably do with a nice advance into their position. Right, infantry, let's get that advance underway. Jesus, yep. Careful. Okay, we need to break them with the cavalry first, because that is some heavy incoming fire. That is some really heavy incoming fire. Right, ready. Charge! Archers charge, horse movement charge, everybody charge them now. Cavalry's broken them, they're now running. Do not stop. Oh, that was way too close. I keep forgetting how much health I actually have. Keep pushing, boys. Do not stop. We're not going to be reforming any lines here. Just keep pushing. Our archers are completely out of ammunition, so we can't hold defensively. Well, the majority of them are out of ammunition. The ones that weren't were sitting at the back and can't fire. Keep charging, boys. Keep charging. I want to get in there, but I can't. It's too risky. And so he does it anyway. There we go, we've got somebody important. Oh, we got another one. Beautiful. Let's try and go for the cavalry if we can. Don't know if that's one of mine. I'm going to hit him anyway. Got one of the infantry. Beautiful. Let's just peel the ones off the flanks. Oh, wow. Okay, not where I want to be. The enemy has still got some decent numbers left. Let's help him out here. They got him. Still on quite a nice advance. Let's see if we can get this guy here. Damn it. Enemy's still holding a formation. What we need to do is deal with these straggling cavalry over here. And then our cavalry can focus on the enemy force. There we go. There we go. Got the stragglers, so now we're heading into the bulk. Let's 
still running back, which is good for our men. Possibly in a full retreat, not yet, not yet. This is a good army to take down. I mean, two armies in one. 1,200 men. They're not low quality, but they're not high quality either. So it was a good army to attack. Especially whilst we had the numbers that we did. I think we have obliterated them there. I think they're fully on the run now. Not even fighting back. I do love the Volandian troops though. Especially the... Um, I was going to say Vanguard, so that's not it. I can't remember what they're called now. That's stupid. Um, oh, what are they called? Jesus. I'll have to have a look. Because I really can't remember what they're called. No, not them. Do they not have any? They might not have had any. Vlandian Knight, Pikeman, Sergeant. That's the one. Sergeant. Vlandian Sergeants. Yeah, they're awesome. They're absolutely awesome. Right, anyway, 174 men dead. Not bad, but quite decent. Not bad for the size of the army that we just taken down. 24 of my own done. Uh, Going to be mostly low quality. Good stuff. Now to build up some relationships. Minus 8. That should go neutral. Nice. And we've got them positive. Plus 7. Only got 3, damn it. 36 upgrades. Beautiful. Uh, Mamluk Cavalry, yep, 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 and then rest on there, beautiful stuff, 339 prisoners, don't want them, I've got 3% health, hopefully, a little bit, 32%, lovely, and there we go, we've captured Thraktory Castle, and we've eliminated the enemy forces around it as well, next target will be Usank Castle, Owner of Thraktory, let's deal with that now. Uh, could give it to Overgoss again. Somebody is supporting him, Eucassios. So let's do that. Okay, my heart stopped then. I thought I just lost all that. Okay, awesome. We're just going to pick up some recruits from the uh, nearby area. We're going to head back to Ortizia. Pick up what men we can from there. Then we're going to head to Usank and start the siege there. We're going to move on quite quickly. They didn't capture Veron, so that's that's a shame. That is a shame. But hopefully they will. Also got to deal with Sonala. Lagater is under siege, okay, we might have to deal with that first. Lovely stuff. I didn't take any prisoners, so I don't need to grab anybody. Let's grab those scouts. And let's move on. Food, 829. Fine on food. Right. Alders gained a skill point in stewardship. Good stuff. Gourmet. Morale bonus from having diverse food is doubled. Reduced food consumption of garrisons during siege. Cost of upgrading units is decreased by 10%. Reduced food consumption of parties during siege by 10%. Uh, we'll go for cost, I guess. I don't know how much morale affects them. And delay... Increase your damage by 4% with all melee weapons. Troops in your formation deal more damage with melee weapons. Sprint. When no shields and ranged weapons are wielded, you gain 5... Oh yeah, that's not going to happen. We're going to go for powerful, I guess. And she's still got that point, but what we want to do is put it into bowmanship, which we can't do. Her learning rate is 11. Deep quivers. You get 3 extra arrows per quiver. I need to boost my own riding. Uh, we could give her th uh, more athleticism, I suppose. No reason why not. Um, right, yep, let's go up to Lagata, sort this out. We've picked up some extra troops, so we should be okay on numbers. We're going to pass Joculos. They haven't, they've just built their siege camp, so the siege has potentially begun. Don't know how many men they're going to have. This could be the army of a thousand. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to assume it is. We should get there in time. It's Edoran's army. They have begun the attack. Vallejo should help us out here. He is. Garrison's 300 men strong. We, yeah, we've got this no problem. Help Lagata. 
1,300. Although the bar isn't as in favour of us as it should be, so that does mean that they've got some decently strong units. So let's try not to lose too many. 187 archers, focuses on our infantry. Fairly open, bit hilly land. We've got some hills to our rear. Got a very tall hill here, but then there's slight hills in front of us, but that does block us from the enemy archers. So that we're going to form up here. We engage them, so there is a chance the enemy won't move. We do have a lot of archers, so we can spread them out massively across this hill. We've set our infantry up more in the centre in that case. And then cavalry, yep, go as far down the flank as you can. Horse archers sit here. Hope it's that line right. Looks like they're going at a bit of an angle. Should be fine. Okay, I did do a really long line, didn't I? Oh, I did a really long line. But we have the numbers for it. Oh, wait, no, that's just because they've been putting loose. Jesus. Enemy is charging us, too. 104 cavalry on one side. That's dangerous. We've only got 64 ourselves. Right, please dismount. Let's get that shield wall started immediately. Yep, I put the line at a bit too much of an angle, and it's a bit late to change them around now. It's never too late to change them around. Let's get that sorted out quick. Maybe I changed my mind because they're getting kills and they're doing their job. Oh, this is a good position. But the cavalry's scaring me a little bit. That's a lot of cav. And they have not split them. So they're going to charge my archers. And deal some serious damage. Let's see if we can get any kills on them. A little bit higher. Whoa, careful. Boys! Jesus. Okay, they're charging. Cavalry, over there please. Get yeah, ready to support the infantry. Let's get you across enough. Cavalry charge. Engage the enemy cav, quick. It's him gone. Let's see if we can get the banner knight. Nope. I thought I was going to hit my own man there. Nope, I'm not going to hit him. But I might be able to hit him. Yes, got him off his horse. Come here, you bastard. teach you to hit my bloody cavalry, although he does seem to be winning. Let's sort that out. Got him. Thank you, fella. I'm holding pretty strong. Infantry charge if you can. I'm not sure if we've beaten the enemy infantry. It looks like we have. So let's start spreading out against them. Enemy reinforcements are coming in. Cavalry's been... Oh, no, 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 no. Infantry, come back. Come back, come back. It's a lot of enemy archers that have just popped in. A lot of our own archers have just come in, I think, as well. Yep, keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Cavalry, pull back. We've lost quite a decent chunk of cavalry, too. Some of them are going to, yeah, quite a lot of them are going to go down. They're going to be quite far back. Hopefully, as they're retreating, the archers should pick off a lot of the enemy forces. That's a better formation, actually. They've sorted themselves out there. I like my position on the hill. Gives me a good overview of the map. I can really understand a lot more of what's happening. Just feel less involved. Nice. Come on, boys, bring him down. Who the hell's that? Alright, infantry's still holding. The enemy is just literally just charging into our shield wall one by one. So we don't have to hold it for too long. Four such just form up here for me. Oh, 
Alright, good job boys, good job. Keep holding. Oh, I didn't think I was going to hit him. Infantry still holding. Good job boys, good job. Still a lot of cavalry slipping through. Oh, I didn't even mean to hit that one. <laughs> Jesus. Good shot, boys. Good shot. Bring him down. Let's catch his lance. He's going to get a kill. Don't know if he did. Keep firing, men. Keep firing. Cavalry, let's form a thinner line to catch any of them that come through if we can. Keep firing, boys. You're messing them up quite nicely. I have no ammo. Good job, boys. Good job. Keep holding. Right, enemies pushing back. They do have a lot of archers, and they're getting more reinforcements in at the moment. Right, we need to start pushing on the enemy because they're going to start ripping our infantry to shreds. Archers charge. Infantry charge. Go. We're getting slaughtered. Infantry's coming in. This should be the final push and we should wipe them out here. If we can get to their archers in time. Come on boys, get out of there. Don't get caught by those archers. Jesus Christ. Right, we're getting slaughtered. Too many archers. We are getting absolutely slaughtered. Where the hell is the rest of my men? Okay. I think they're now on the run, so we're not getting messed up as badly as we were. It's those, it's that second lot of reinforcements. The moment they come into play is when they start really getting kills against us. They've still got 120 archers. More or less. Come on, boys. We need to catch up to them. One of my boys. Every kill here counts. But I can't get hit, so I need to be more careful. That guy who hit me with the axe, I mean, that was that was insane. He couldn't even see where I was. He had his axe loaded and ready. Little opportunist bastard. I was trying to get somebody else, saw me come past, he's like, oh, perfect. Little bastard. Ah, oh, damn it! I knew that was going to happen. Alright, we're still charging though. Everyone is still charging, so that's good. Alright, let's speed this up. We have lost 251 men. So I did say at the start that the enemy here was a lot more, a lot stronger in quality than the last army we faced. And that's evident there. 251 men dead. 177 injured. But we have defeated them, and that's all the known armies destroyed, which is what we wanted. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, we don't need to chase down every last man, I'm happy with that. So that is our land, mostly protected. We're going to take anyone who's minus 100. Uh, I'm going to take you two. That is all the prisoners I'm going to have. Okay, cool. So we didn't improve any relations there. Shame, but doesn't matter too much. Most important thing is nobody died. We enter into Lagata. We have lost a decent chunk of men, so that's not great. Uh, I don't know who owns this, Vallejos. So I'm going to drop my prisoners into this one. I can't... Oh, wow, they have a lot of prisoners. Yeah, they have a lot of prisoners. Fair enough. Um, yeah, right, that's awesome. So we've defended our land. There shouldn't be any major impending attacks 
at least not not for the uh, time being anyway we should be relatively safe so either we'll take Veron Castle or I'm going to head down to Usank I'm into cows. Um, I'll probably head down to Usank, take that castle there, and then head to Charis, where we'll capture that too. Flandia does have a lot of castles to take, but we should push them back quite nicely. That's a lot of castles to take. Um, but luckily, Jackdown, Sargo, Charis, and Usank are all kind of in the same place. There's no real castles protecting them. So once we've taken the south, we can move through north pretty easily, taking down some major targets and really start weakening them. So that will be the plan anyway, if I don't die before then. Really need to start wrapping this series up. So we might make this our last war, and the moment it ends, however it ends, um, will be the end of this series. Because we've been through a lot of updates since the start of this. <laughs> and it's, I think it's about time to start a new one. Do it properly. Use what we've learned in this one at the beginning of our next one. Ah, oh, look at that. Nobody wants a war. 1%. Fuck. Screw you. Good stuff. Brought our tribute down, but I think we're losing money. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you had a good one. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It just supports it out massively and keeps you updated with all the content that's going to be coming out. And otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. If you've got any comments, suggestions, tips, anything like that, make sure to leave them down in the comments below or go ahead and join me on Discord where you can message me or any other one of the guys who uh, will answer one of your questions. Or if you've just got something you'd like to say, then just go ahead and message me privately. I don't mind. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you have a good one and goodbye.